Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? Uh, we are back at it. Um, crafting a few more car parts. Now, if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a while, um, you guys will have seen the uh, side splitter add-ons. I guess I'll just add a little clip of them in here. Um, you guys will have seen the side splitter add-ons that I have on my car. And um, I had a, a buddy of mine hit me up. He wants me to make them for his... Um, so I think it's a 2008 uh, or oh, I think it's an 08 Honda Civic SI Coupe with the Honda Factory Performance uh, lip kit on it. So I'm going to be doing up a set of those for his car. Now basically this is the uh, underside that's not going to be seen. And then basically what I did was I trimmed it up and I added like... I think an inch and a half lip that's going to stick out past the bumper. Nothing too aggressive, um, but the front bumper on his car is already pretty aggressive. Uh, so I have, a, I have a feeling these are, uh, you know, these are actually going to look pretty decent. Now I'm also going to be doing up a custom diffuser for him. So if you guys are in the GTA and need any custom aero work done, definitely let me know. Um... I'm going to do what I can, like I'm not the greatest, I'm just, you know, kind of doing what I can w with what I have, um, but you know, as time goes on, if, you know, this these types of things turn out really good, um, I don't know, I'll take on a few more um, different projects, but for now, just the little plastic add-ons, uh, I'm going to mock up a few diffusers, maybe in the next video, uh, but for today, we are basically, I've got these all trimmed out. And uh, basically what I'm going to do, where's my tool here? I've got my jigsaw here as well as, pull it out, it's hard to work, just one-handed, as well as a plastic blade here. So what I'm going to do is throw the plastic blade on here and probably just cut out one uh, first, this one here. Uh, this is the edge that's going to be seen, so that's what really has to look good. Everything back here really, no one's going to see that. I'd like it to look halfway decent but it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but obviously this front edge definitely has to be perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut out the first one here, show you guys what it looks like, and then I'm gonna cut out the second one, and then I'm gonna show you guys um, how I'm gonna just basically sand it in order to get them both, both um, as identical as possible. So I'm gonna put the camera down. Um, you guys have seen this process, cutting plastic. Um, I think at least once. I'm pretty sure I had a little time lapse of the plastic cutting in there. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut this up real quick. Well, not real quick. I'll probably take my time and uh, show you guys what I come up with, man. Okay, so here's side number one. Now I was having a problem when I was cutting. As you can see here, the plastic was basically fusing back together, so I found the best method. Whoa, it's not that, but just to go like that so that the blade doesn't heat up that much. And you can get, like right there was a really nice cut, but then once the blade starts getting hot, it just starts melting things. But uh, I'm going to cut the second one here. Obviously, these cuts are a little bit rough, but, uh, you know, we're going to fix those up. Once we're done cutting this side, we're going to see if we can get these finished up today. Now, the, it was raining today. It looks like it just started spitting again, so I don't think I'm going to get outside cutting and welding any metal today just because of the rust and stuff like that. So for today, we'll probably just finish up this project and then, I don't know, probably make outside another video. We'll see, man. Alrighty, so now that I have both of them cut, uh, basically what I'm doing is, as you can see, these... Uh, edges that were kind of I don't know melted here I'm just using exact an exacto blade to cut all the rough edges off and then once I'm done I'm going to use these two clamps and I'm going to clamp these two pieces together and then that way I'll be able to sand down and shape the edges uh, pretty much identical and at the same time so I'm hoping that works out for me if it doesn't then I'll probably just sand them individually and measure them up as I go along but I'm hoping I can get these clamps on there to the point where they're solid enough to their point where they're not moving these pieces but also not going to crack them and break them so I'm just going to use this exacto knife like I say it's a little dangerous so 
I'm gonna put the camera down. It's probably one of the times when I actually should put the camera down though. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Alrighty, so I have everything clamped together. Uh, it seems relatively safe. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is just use my Dremel. Well, the cheap Dremel, cheapo Dremel. It's been doing good, man. I gotta say. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is for all the edges that are really misaligned. Like as you can see, these ones are quite a bit off. I'm going to go around with the Dremel and I'm going to shave everything down like I already started on this edge and I still got a bit of undercut on this side but once I get every edge pretty much sanded down the way I want I'm just going to go ahead and use this uh, I don't know I guess sanding block or whatever you want to call it and just fix up uh, and really round off the edges nicely so that they're not sharp. Uh, but I got a little bit of work to go with the Dremel here, so I'm just going to jump into that real quick and uh, obviously let you guys know when I'm finished because, I don't know, the time lapses, it's really like 30 minutes in between each like take, really, and I don't know, it eats a lot of footage and, you know, I don't know the memory cards, the batteries, all that good stuff, so... I'll let you guys know when I'm done. Alrighty, so I just finished up with the Dremel. And as you can see, I pretty much matched up all the edges um, as close as I could with the Dremel. It's pretty, you know, a fast little rotating tool. So what I'm going to do now is use the hand sander. I'm going to probably put a heavier grid on here to start. Um, then I'm just going to sand, obviously, the flat edges. Um, these right here are the edges that matter. Uh, this back one is just that's going to butt up against the little, um, I don't know, I guess it's a wind skirt or something like that to help with the aerodynamics. Uh, that basically butts up, going to be under the car, so you won't see this edge. So I'm not going to worry too much about that one. I'm still going to clean it up a little bit, make it look nice. But these ones right here, I'm going to really work on, get them looking all nice. And then once I get that done, it's going to pretty much be it, so... I'm going to just sit here, whittle away, and let you guys know when I'm finished. Alrighty, so before I take these apart, I just wanted to show you guys that these are, like, pretty much exactly the same now, um, which is obviously what we want. Uh, so I just hit this with, like, a heavy grit. Like, this is really coarse. I think, I don't even know what this says. It says 60, it looks like. So this is a 60 grit here. What I'm going to do now is take them apart and hit them with this which I believe 220 which is a much finer grit um, that's going to prepare us for painting now you could leave these the way they are but this plastic here is really shiny so you know through cutting and sanding and everything it tends to get kind of scratched which is why I usually just prime these pieces and they've turned out great you know on the Ultima I prime the uh, lip on the G35 I prime the little pieces um, so I'm going to go ahead and take these apart right now, finish them up, show you the finished product, and probably put an end to this video. But before we do, we're definitely going to be bolting these on the car, so I'm going to have to wait a couple days. You guys, fortunately, will not. Alrighty, so here is the finished product. Now basically, all that I did was I just sanded the edges so that they're pretty much round instead of like having like a sharp square edge on the you know on the corner here um, then I sanded everything with 400 grit so these are ready to get primed uh, I just used some rust-oleum primer I've had a lot of success with it on uh, little parts like this side splitters uh, diffusers obviously um, so here is the cardboard template that I took now as you can see there was a bit of an arch on this side so I kind of took that out just for the look of it and if we fit this up right here, you'll see that our edges are pretty well lined up. This one's a little bit short, but that's okay. I'll be able to center this properly. And that's going to be pretty much perfect for when I get this on the car. It's going to have a nice little lip here. Uh, this obviously will be the edge of the bumper, so that's going to have a nice little aggressive lip here. And the car that this is going on is relatively low. I think I'll just do a couple glamour shots when we get them bolted on the car. Uh, I don't even know when my buddy's going to be coming over. I still have to build a rear diffuser for him. You guys will probably see that video. I actually have a couple guys I'm building diffusers for, uh, both custom. Um, I also am building shark tooth diffusers. 
You guys will probably see this in another video in the diffuser build video. Um, but yeah, I'm selling these right here, 50 bucks a pop. And then obviously, if you want, if you guys want something custom done, uh, you guys can, you know, come over, give me the measurements, or even send me the measurements. I can, uh, you know, give you guys a price and stuff like that. These right here. Um, I can also make for you guys. These are going to be custom. I'll show you guys what they look like at the end of the video, obviously. Um, hit me up for a price on these two if you want them. Okay, so here's the side splitters all painted up. I just threw a coat of uh, Rust-Oleum primer on here. Uh, it's what I've been using for all of these diffusers and my splitters when I got them. Side splitters. Uh, even painted my old SER front bumper, the winter one in this stuff. It holds up great. Uh, this is the custom diffuser um, that you guys will be seeing built in another video. Um, but I'm going to install these both, or all three of these things today. Um, so I'll get a couple of clips of those, throw in a couple of the glamour shots. Uh, so as always, if you guys enjoyed this one, don't forget to smash that like button. And... Um, Hit me up if you guys need any custom work done. You're in the GTA, only if you're in the GTA. I don't think I'm going to be shipping anytime soon just because uh, shipping in Canada is kind of a pain in the ass. But, uh, yeah. As always, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. We're going to catch y'all more folks at the next one, man. Peace.